Hi, welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Wow, a lot of things happened in the past few days, so let's let's do a recap. First of all, on April 1st, yesterday, Disney Dreamlight Valley played a nice little trick on us. They posted this. Photo mode just got upgrade. You can now create photos with your favorite lamps using a variety of new options. Arriving in update point four. <laughs> Super funny. Would you like to take a photo with your lamp? Probably not, but this wasn't entirely a joke because the next update actually will bring some new options to taking photos and that option is going to be pets we can actually take photos with our pets in the next update this is amazing it's kind of weird that it's she's holding him why am i out of focus please focus it's kind of weird that she's holding it like with with the pets back towards you and not the other way around i would probably prefer to to see the face of a pet but maybe maybe there is a way to adjust it so i, I hope i hope that's the case because i don't want to see the butts of every single animal i'm holding <laughs> or maybe do i i don't know anyway we'll see could you make lamps stay on once we've interacted with them most of us place them next to the mining rocks so they're easier to spot but during the day the lights are off so it'd be nice to have more control. People place lamps near the mining rocks to to be able to see them better? Interesting. I never did that. I, I mean, maybe in Forgotten Lands, but I, I feel like after playing for for a short time, you, you, you already would remember where every single rock is positioned in every biome. I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Do you, do you guys actually do this? That's interesting. But also it's a nice option to... Okay, actually, sometimes I turn on lights by mistake, so it's nice for them. Like, there is... I, I like the fact that it turns off by itself when it's light and turns on when it's dark. It, it makes sense. But if, if there was a way to customize it, like maybe a toggle in the settings, where you just, like, the lights stay on or off if you manually set them, that would be nice. So everybody will be happy. That's great and all, but I'd rather my companion be useful like it helps pick up items while harvest forage my god this is genius how didn't i think of this before all right so new camera mode features i hope there's more features it says new photo mod options with your favorite animal companions so there's probably more options so i i wonder i don't know We'll see, maybe there's more new features that have nothing to do with companions as well. There's still plenty of time before update uh, for them to reveal some new awesome features. Now, this is the final trailer that we just got. And this time it reveals a little bit more. Now, look at this card. So, this card sells like headbands. It looks like like some souvenirs, I guess. I wonder if it's actually functional card, if it's just purely cosmetic. My guess is it's purely cosmetic because why would we need to buy eight Mickey Mouse ear ears? Probably purely cosmetic and uh, the rest of the items we actually already saw. Well, most of them. The clock. Nice, very nice clock. I actually can see myself using it a lot. Now, I'm kind of curious, why are they, like, why are these uh, flower beds are appearing like they're new? And Zen Garden is not new either. I thought initially that these flowers were new. But people told me in the comments that we already had these flower beds. I'm, I'm blocking a flower bed. I apologize. So here's the flower bed. It's it's not actually new from according to a lot of comments that I've received. But it's for some reason they're treating it as it's new. And also, I just realized, he's wearing this headband that is being sold in the card. Look at this. And also, I like this hoodie with a Disney on the back. That's nice. I wonder if it's a hoodie or if it's a... No, it's not a motif. There's no way to create uh, like a clothes like this with a motif. I like the white hood as well. This is pretty cool hoodie. We have a clock. We have a balloons. We have the teacup ride and the bench. You can see it in action. Again, nobody's sitting in it. It looks weird to, to see these attractions with nobody riding them. 
I feel like if there was an option to ride them, they would advertise it so hard right now. I, I'm pretty sure there's nobody in the Ferris wheel either. It looks really cool, but it's gonna be slightly, slightly disappointing if uh, nobody can ride them actually. I I would I would imagine you 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 do have a sitting animation, right? So we could technically sit people in in the cops and in the Ferris wheel and make it actually like that the villagers can ride it and. They could show up on the map like they're sleeping or like make some other icons so they're inaccessible for a couple of minutes. It's fine. I would pay that price if that meant uh, I, I could see some... Imagine Maui in one of these cabins. Oh, that's another issue actually. Some characters simply would not fit inside. So how do you how do you go around that? Like imagine Woody inside the, the cup. You would not even see him. And imagine Maui inside the cup. He is probably gonna clip through it and be way too big for it. So that that's an issue. And I honestly don't know how they solve this issue for being able to ride these things. Like I can't see how they can possibly fit on this Dumbo. Like the small characters and the large characters. In a cup, maybe you could like position like a bench inside the cup and they're just gonna use that bench as a regular bench same in the ferris wheel but the dumbo ride i just i just don't know how you can possibly make it so it fits every single character on it so my guess is we're not gonna get an ability to uh for for villagers to ride them but i don't see why can't we ride them because the character avatar is more or less the same size so it shouldn't be a problem to allow us to ride these rides it, you can even charge star coins if you want to ride it, like pay thousand star coins to be able to ride it for a minute or two. I'll pay. D -d Another way to spend star coins? Count me in. Love it. Just want to increase the amount of stuff we can place down. Can't get rid of the pumpkin farm. I'm gonna hard that in a heartbeat. I need more object limit, man. Yep, that Mickey sun wheel is going right on Dazzle Beach. It's small world clock right next to my castle house. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to build my amusement park on the beach as well. But it's only going to be possible if you increase the object limit. I'm going to keep saying this until they actually do it. Because that's that's the thing that can ruin even the best update for me. If, if, I, if I can't use any of the items because I hit the object limit, like... Just do it. Just do it. I'm not going to stop until you do it. Better idea. Instead of making us have to place houses for every character, make a hotel where characters can stay and hang out. I don't like it. I, I don't mind a hotel, but I want to have houses. As many houses as possible. Because I, I just think it looks cool. It's, it, it's not going to look like a village if there is not a bunch of houses. Premium shop house skin, maybe? Wait, I thought it was a main castle, so this is entrance, this is plaza, for sure, so this is a main castle. Does it look different? It doesn't look different to me, but I haven't looked in a castle in a while. A Mickey ear card. Yeah, that's, I, I hope there's more cards. W what kind of a... a, a we, we can make a whole carnival with, with different cards and uh, make people sell stuff like... Maybe some meals, like hot dogs, cotton candy, stuff like this. Those are two interesting ideas for new recipes, by the way. We don't have any meat, though. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think this game would fit it. Imagine farming animals, but then... I feel like kind of killing pe animals for meat is not going to fit the theme of Disney Dreamlight Valley. Probably a bad idea. There is not enough space to place all the items. Oh, this again. I don't understand how you don't have space. I have so much space, I don't know what to do with it. How is this a problem? Like, explain to me. Like, show me your valley. And I'll find you space, okay? <laughs> I barely have room and I have to redo half of my valley just for one house. How? How do you have to redo half of your valley for just one house? 
Fine, if you decorated everything, just remove a little tiny portion of one of your biomes to put the house there. How is it half of your valley? How do you have an object limit for this? Okay, maybe maybe I'm missing something. I, I see so many complaints about not having... We barely have enough room for houses. We must be playing different games. I don't know, maybe maybe if you're playing on certain... Com maybe on Switch your map is like five times smaller than on, on other platforms. That's why you can't place all the houses. Can somebody explain this to me? I'm maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I somehow my game glitched out and my map become big became bigger than for anybody else in this game. Like I I don't know. Please increase the item limit. You're a saint. You're doing God's work. I completely agree. Item limit? Yes. More biomes? I mean, I don't mind more biomes. Not that we need them just yet. Probably in a couple updates we're gonna need them, though. My question is, will we be able to start our own business? Like, sell tickets and make money from them? This is not Sims. Come on. This is not Sims. You can make so much more money from pumpkins. Yeah, everybody's saying attractions should be interactive, but... Hate to burst your bubbles. I'm 99% sure it's not going to be interactive in any way and probably never will be. And it's a huge bummer. But I think we can still make a nice looking park using these items, even though villagers probably will never be able to ride them. I hope I'm wrong. This is one situation when I really hope I'm wrong. But we'll see soon enough. All right, guys. This is the news update on Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'll see you in the live stream in a couple of hours. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And huge thanks to all the members. You guys are epic. I'll see you soon. Update is in three days. Can't wait. Goodbye.